and the tower is stubborn tower two of swords we need to decide something about a tower moment we need to make decisions but still we are blindfolded two of swords and the tower is unexpected disruption and here you show up king of pentacles in reverse it's a home going down in flame, a family going down in flame. It is a, This is a love reading, but of course can be a job that uh, no longer works for us and that kind of energy. Seven of Wands in reverse. We stop fighting. It's a French expression that comes to mind. Baisser les bras. Baisser les bras. Three of Cups. Seven of Wands. Reconciliation. Or we won. Or maybe we need happiness a little bit and have some fun after being blocked by, by the way seven of wands is somebody saying I don't want to talk to you okay okay I'm gonna give you time and we do have the Queen of Cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio this is the Queen of Love so there is still love here I'm just saying anyway so let's see bottom of the deck Capricorn bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week the last week of March but again time is fluent and <laughs> we we might have a Pisces all over us in terms of energies we do have the moon in reverse and we have the king of cups in reverse might be a Pisces cancer Scorpio can only be a Pisces with the moon um, and also this is the energy of fear this is a, a, the energy of what am I going to do I don't know uh, being lost a little bit, emotionally drained. Uh, all the cups in reverse might be about sadness, frustration, or, um, you know, kind of um, not really in control. But we'll see what, what this is all about. Or simply a water sign all over our energy, you know, all emotional, all sensitive, and needing comfort. We'll see. So Capricorn, in the past, on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Um, current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, seven of uh, pentacles in reverse. Somebody is quite impatient. Swear to God, there is a water sign. And they might have zero patience. Um, they show up here. It's like, please excuse me. Hello. You know, <laughs> that's the thing. Um, the, the seven of pentacles, the energy of somebody saying to themselves, I swear I'm going to be patient. And actually, you know, because it's in reverse, it's like the hell with the patience. Here, here I come and look the beautiful cup I have you know page of cups might be apologies might be somebody Capricorn coming your way and saying you know what I've been impulsive uh, that's a seven of pentacles energy maybe it was um, you know a decision that was a little bit rushed I cannot wait till whatever because seven of pentacles the energy of um, the harvest and it's like no 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 I'm not gonna wait no I don't have time so please accept my apologies here and my cup. It's a small cup, but it's a beginning. Um, so Capricorn, anyways, this is how I feel. It's just, um, anyways. So Capricorn, in the past, you and this person, on your side, we do have the three of wands. Um, and we do have the seven of wands um, in reverse, of course. But this combination of cards actually and energies feels like um, a lot of patience on your side. And seven of wands in reverse is like, uh, probably they were blocking and unblocking you, right? Blocking and unblocking. Being like fully open and honest today and tomorrow it's like out of nowhere is, um, you know, kind of moody. Uh, spoiled, of course, probably. Um, you know, because seven of wands is like, leave me alone, I need my space. And, and then they are all over you. And then, no, leave me alone, I need my space, you know? And you've been patient and you waited. That's the three of wands energy, right? Uh, for them to come to their senses, right? And it's like, can you please be a little bit more predictable, you know? Um, I also feel that we had expectations over here, right? Three of Wands, yeah, it's waiting and, you know, patiently waiting and saying at some point my ships will come home because I've invested in it and they always find their, their way home. 
But uh, again, it, it feels also like expectations, you know? And probably you told this, but can you please be more stable for a month? Let's try here, you know? <laughs> and I say that because we have a lot of emotional imbalance here. So I don't know which uh, side, you know, uh, where this comes from, but I see you standing quite patient with this and saying, you know what, this is part of life. Oh, beautiful, you show up here. Um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups. So again, it felt like on and off kind of connection, you know? And Three of Cups is like, okay, let me get back to my Capricorn. And then it's like, let me block my Capricorn just a little bit till I have a little bit more fun. Um, and then, you know, going back together again, it does look like. Um, can also look like energies of blocking and happiness and then blocking and then happiness, you know? It's like, uh, it doesn't have to be separation. Um, like I always say, we can sleep in the same bed and be uh, a world apart. So, um, you know, maybe that was this kind of um, um, connection, very uh, passionate, I would say. <laughs> and you do have the Three of Cups again, a mutual energy is between you and this person. So I'm sure they've made you happy. Um, it's the Knight of Wands here, um, Sagittarius energy, but it can be an Aries. Yeah, Sagittarius can be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and honestly, a lot of water. Uh, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, so far, um, the signs, and they've made you happy. And again, the mutual energies between the two of you is the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, that duality between happiness and joy combined with the Knight of Wands in reverse is not a lot of action and sometimes moments where no action in the bedroom, right? That's the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's like, you know, when you're about to start something and it doesn't work out because uh, it doesn't work out. So that is exactly the Knight of Wands. Might, might have been somebody from a distance, you know, or long distance kind of connection because we have two, two Knights in reverse, right? And uh, can indicate distance, can also indicate um, um, lack of action because the knights upright are all about let me, boom, go there and do something about, you know. Do we have a plan or is we don't? But it's, um, you know, action mode. Um, and again, different kind of energy. Maybe you were, um, you know, connecting with somebody very cheery with the Three of Cups. I do not want to go to third party situation. I know some readers who really know the cards would say, Michaela, come on, that was twice the Three of Cups. Okay, so what? It's about happiness, you know? And a little bit of, um, you know, somebody being moody and spoiled and... Now, where are we right now, Capricorn? We do have the five, the five of Pentacles, and we do have the Wheel of Fortune um, in reverse. So we are stuck in a separation here. Um, you know, we've been rejected a bit. Somebody said, you know, I really need my time, my space, and maybe this time is a little bit longer, or maybe it's going towards a separation of some sort, rejection. Uh, maybe somebody asked you to leave the, the house and, and find yourself a place to stay. That's the Five of Pentacles, right? We uh, take what we have and out the door we go. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is like hoping for a change. Um, you know, this is manifestation of change, but for now we are in this um, position. And, and I, I don't know if real communication happens. We have you a little bit lost here, a little bit, you know, longing for this person back or for them to take you back and longing for a change and uh, wanting to do something about okay now the person you are dealing with we do have again pisces cancer scorpio we have the king of cups queen of cups uh both in reverse which is kind of um quite an energy there but we also have the five of cups so this is the energy of of them feeling responsible a little bit guilty a little bit i did it you know looking at the empty cups and not seeing the full cups behind them. And this is also the energy of, I've almost died missing you, right? That's the five of cups. And they show um, a little bit upside down. Now, for some of you, I don't know if it's, um, we do have the cups in reverse, um, king of cups, queen of cups. So I don't know if kind of, um, you know, this connection is no longer that is, I don't want to say that is no longer an emotional bond because that is a king and that is the queen, so that is a bond there. But 
um, you know, it's like the happiness is no longer there or the emotion. You know, you know when we um, see somebody and our heart kind of skips a bit? Well, that kind of feeling, I, I'm sensing that that is no longer there. Is it about the routine? Is it about the up and down? And at some point, you know, we might be emotionally drained and say, you know what, this is not working out, you know? And, um, you know, and it's not that kind of uh, working out where you put a kettle on it and you make it exercise and it has muscles again, you know? It's really, I know I'm joking. Uh, God. <clears throat> but it's, um, again, an emotionally, you know, um, challenging situation. Cups in reverse again, anger, and both and the king and the queen are in reverse. So I believe uh, this kind of tells of an anger towards each other. Um, trying to stay in control, right? They try to. Um, Capricorn, they are making their effort there. And um, probably the guilt is, um, you know, really um, uh, challenging to them. Um, and it's interesting, you have the Five of Pentacles, they have the Five of Cups. So again, five is for changes and challenges. So just saying, that is that. Um, mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the Nine of Wands in reverse and we do have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is an offer on the table. Um, um, kind of a, a, a form of, I'm going to give you this if you give me that, you know. Um, because the Ace of uh, Pentacles is the investment card, but it's paired with the Nine of Wands. I am hurt, so you're going to have to pay, you know. Um, and probably that, that is kind of the same energy on their side. It's like, mm. you know, Auntie, yeah, I do have an offer, but it's, um, you know, I have to no longer be hurting. That's the Nine of Wands. And it has to be polite, and it has to be generous, and it has to be stable, and it has, it has, it has. So... Um, they honestly, um, Capricorn, they feel sorry for leaving you out in a cold. Um, absolutely. And that is a, um, that is a form of, um, let me repair this, right? And that's Ace of Pentacles. Let, let me fix this. Now moving forward, um, Capricorn, the outcome, we love the Eight of Pentacles. This is you um, working on yourself. It is Eight of Pentacles paired with the Ten of um, Wands in reverse. Of course, the situation is highly burdening and we want to put the burdens down. We want to solve a problem. We want to end the chapter. We want to end the pain, the difficulties. For some of you, I feel that you have concerns with money. Uh, both energies, one is of work and actually this is for taking responsibilities and doing the work so that we advance a plan of some sort and end the cycle successfully and go back to square one. Um, Eight of Pentacles is the energy of education, is the energy of work, um, is the energy of, uh, you know, dedicated effort to something. And I feel that you might be focusing actually right now on advancing a career, um, you know, um, accomplishing something. And it's, it's interesting because it's one card of effort with the Ten of Wands and one is the card of apprenticeship mainly. So probably we are combining here actually a little bit of work, a little bit of um, education or self-education or self-improvement, you know, working on yourself and working on getting a stability of some sort. Um, now this person, Capricorn, they are pushing away love, Two of Cups. I don't know if they are disconnecting emotionally. Honestly, Two of Cups is, is the energy of emo being emotionally drained, not paying attention, um, you know, to the, uh, to the bond or not caring for the bond. Um, and it's paired with the Four of Cups. This is the energy of um, uh, focusing on something else. This is the energy of, a, of the missed opportunity because they are paying attention someplace else again. And I'm not sure they are focused on love right now. And it's interesting on your side, you are mirroring also each other because I'm not seeing love on your side. I'm not seeing love on their side either. But maybe it's one of the, those dynamics where you did me this, I'm going to do you this. And and I see you more focused on money and stability and finances and the more on, um, um, on dealing with whatever bond was between the two of you. 
Now, mutual energies between the two of you. Um, we do have the Three of Swords in reverse and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is you and this is your heartbreak and both of you, you want to heal this. It's like your person saying, I created something, um, you know, I kind of, um, right, with the Five of Pentacles, with the Five of Cups and the Two of Cups in reverse. This is kind of acknowledging that they've created some pain. Um, and their focus is kind of, you know, if you can heal from this and how can I help? And this is also your main focus, healing the pain. And we have also the page of cups. Somebody knows and it's like, I'm sorry, but this is how it has to be. Kind of, this is what I'm, you know, I'm sensing somebody very kind with all these emotions. And again, can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sensing somebody kind of telling you, you know what, I'm, I'm no longer happy. I'm no longer fulfilled. Maybe this is what they told you. You know, why don't you move on and, and, and I move on. And they have all these um, overflowing emotions. It's like they want something. Um, you know, cups in reverse is like longing for something and not getting it, you know. So maybe if somebody told you that and it was like a shock and it was you waiting for them to come to their senses. But it's, um, it's deeper than that, you know, for them, for the person you are dealing with. And I do, you know, I, I do love the Ace of Pentacles and I uh, do love the, the Three of Swords in reverse because this is being very kind, you know, when we, um, and I hope, I don't know if this is about a separation or what, or if, you know, this is somebody asking you to leave or something, but um, it's always nice when a separation happens with kindness and it's, you know, I'm going to help you through and you're going to help me through and... And that's all right, you know, realizing that love is no longer there. It's not the end of the world. Um, and I know it hurts, um, but the way we disconnect and, and, and the way we, we close a chapter it actually is very important for the next one that we open. Um, and for our own mind um, and our own, you know, happiness and growth and success. And, um, and I'm sensing we are journeying here, Capricorn. And I know um, the last reading's been a while that my Capricorn that I'm picking up the energy of is like um, kind of painful. It's like we've connected with somebody who no longer has love and passion for us and physical attraction and sensuality. I remember one of my videos were, were about no action in the bedroom and then, and then cups in reverse all over the place. So it's kind of the case today we are, right? Um, still in that spiraling, in that energy of, um, you know, maybe in a connection where, uh, you know, a connection that ran its course and, and now we're... Anyways, your energy is all over them in the past, but I would say after that, kind of their emotions took over. Um, let's ask for some guidance. I know, who am I to give you guidance? But I would say, let's keep walking. But um, who am I to say something? So let's see. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I love this. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So Capricorn, if this is five of pentacles, you know, sleeping in different beds in different rooms, while well, a conversation still is possible or has to happen. And I hope you already had it, but again, I'm picking up the energy of somebody that the universe says, no, they, Capricorn needs to go back and speak to, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah. So it might be about an ex-husband and a, an ex-wife, and we still have to talk to them because they are the one. And honeymoon, I love this. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So maybe a conversation will fix this, Capricorn. This is what I'm hearing, actually. You know, they are the one. You better go talk to them, and you better do something about a vacation. And then you have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted, attractive. Yeah, a conversation would fix this. Let's have another one. Let's see what we need to surrender, and then I say goodbye. Oh, 
surrender to miracles. Are you kidding me? I love this. So it says, be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. I love this. Well, I do believe in miracles. I saw them in my life, you know, things showing up and popping up by, by surprise. But that's another story for another time. Um, so Capricorn, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. You know you have to wash your hands more often, right? And right after this video, you really can go and wash your hands again. And then go on my community tab and leave me a message if you did. Um, I know. Um, as always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.